again, NCAC sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of This Week in the NCAC. I'm your host, Brett Bilhart. On this week's show, we'll take a look back at all the action from across the North Coast Athletic Conference for the week ending on Sunday, March the 17th. For the first time in conference history, an NCAC women's basketball team has captured the NCAA Division III National Championship as the DePaul University Tigers accomplished the feat on Saturday night with a 69-51 with a to 51 victory over Wisconsin Whitewater in the National Championship game at Hope College's DeVos Fieldhouse in Holland, Michigan. The Tigers, who also won the national title in 2007, closed out the season with a perfect record of 34-0 which breaks the NCAA Division III record for wins in a season and makes them just the seventh team in Division III history to close out a season with an unblemished record. DePaul senior forward Ellie Pearson was named the Final Four's most valuable player after tallying 14 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 blocks, and 2 steals in the national title game to go along with 15 points and 9 rebounds in DePaul's 59-56 semifinal victory over Williams on Friday night. Joining Pearson on the all-tournament team was classmate Kate Walker, who scored 24 points, dished out three assists, and pulled down 11 rebounds over the two-day event. The NCAC congratulates head coach Chris Huffman and the entire DePaul women's basketball team on winning the 2013 NCAA Division III Women's Basketball National Championship. Additionally, in basketball, the College of Worcester men's basketball team saw its season come to a close on Saturday night with a 70-63 loss against Cabrini in the third round of the NCAA Division III men's basketball tournament. And keeping national championship competition on our minds, the 2013 NCAA Division III Swimming and Diving Championships will be held this week, March 20th through 23rd, at the Conroe Natatorium in Shenandoah, Texas. A complete conference-wide preview with more details on the national meet has been posted on the NCAC website. Let's begin this spring portion of this week's show by recognizing our weekly award winners for outdoor track and field. On the men's side, only one award winner was selected this week for sprint and hurdle events, and that honor went to Ohio Wesleyan freshman Adam Turner, who posted a time of 22.60 in the 200-meter dash, and a time of 51-20 in the 400-meter dash to pace the Ohio Wesleyan men's squad at the Shamrock Invitational hosted by Coastal Carolina. The first women's award for distance and middle distance events went to Ohio Wesleyan senior Emily Johnson, who finished 14th overall in the steeplechase to lead the OWU women at the Shamrock Invitational. The weekly award for sprint and hurdle events went to Ohio Wesleyan freshman Sarah Johnson, who posted times of 15.52 in the 100-meter hurdles and 107.68 in the 400-meter hurdles at Coastal Carolina. And finally, Owu accomplished the clean sweep on the women's side this week as senior Hannah Benzing took home the award for field events. Benzing posted a fourth-place finish in the hammer with a throw of 158 feet, 4 inches, and also added a 12th place showing in the discus with a heave of 134, 10 inches. NCAC track and field squads continue action this weekend with numerous teams traveling to out-of-state events. Shifting our attention to the diamond, let's now break down NCAC baseball and softball action from last week. In baseball, Denison, Ohio Wesleyan, and Worcester all opened up the 2013 season at the Snowbird Classic in Port Charlotte, Florida. The Battling Bishops and Fighting Scots both posted 4-3 records in the Sunshine State, with Worcester posting victories over Mount St. Joe's, Salem State, Wheaton, Illinois, and Wheaton, Massachusetts, and the Battling Bishops knocking off Baldwin Wallace, Wheaton, Illinois, and Mount St. Joe's twice. Worcester got two strong pitching performances from senior Keenan White, who went 2-0 last week after compiling a 2.40 ERA with 19 strikeouts in 15 innings of work. The Southpaw, Southpaw went six innings in a 13-8 victory over MSJ on Monday and then threw a nine-inning complete game with a career-high 12 strikeouts in the 8-2 win over Wheaton, Illinois on Saturday. White was named the NCAC Baseball Pitcher of the Week for his efforts. 
Kenyon wrapped up its 2013 spring break with a 4-1 record in Fort Myers, Florida last week. The Lords were led by this week's NCAC Player of the Week recipient, Jesse Weiss, who posted a 600 batting average with one double, one triple, seven runs scored, and nine RBI in 15 official at-bats. In addition, Weiss was hit by a pitch once and drew seven walks to register a 708 on base percentage. And now let's shift our attention to the softball diamond where five league squads competed in Florida last week. Ohio Wesleyan highlighted the week's action by going 7-3, while Denison posted a 5-3 record, Worcester was 5-5, five five, Kenyon was 2-2, two and, two, and Allegheny was 1-1. One Ohio Wesleyan jumped out to the, early le or to the early season success, thanks in part to the production from this week's NCAC Softball Pitcher of the Week Award winner, Amanda Barker. Barker posted a perfect 5-0 record on the week, including a complete game shutout with 12 strikeouts against Nichols on March 15th. In 26 and two-thirds innings of action last week, Baker struck out 32 batters and held opponents to a 204 batting average. The Fighting Scots reeled off five wins last week and were led by the NCAC Softball Player of the Week selection, Paige Goldberg. The sophomore from Hawthorne Woods, Illinois, posted a 343 batting average with two doubles, one triple, six runs scored, six RBI, and four stolen bases. Goldberg also registered two walks to go along with her 12 hits for a 378 on base percentage and a 457 slugging percentage. NCAC baseball and softball teams will continue non-conference action this week, with numerous teams still scheduled to compete at spring break events. We'll now shift our attention to the Lynx, where there has been limited golf action across the NCAC in the first two weeks of the spring season. The Allegheny women's team kicked off its spring campaign at the annual Jekyll Island Invitational in Georgia. The Gators finished 13th out of 21 teams with 1,017 strokes, and were led by this week's NCAC Women's Golfer of the Week award winner, Liz Blythe, who finished in a tie for 27th in the individual standings after carding a 54-hole total of 246, which included a round of 79 in round two and a 77 in round three. The weekly award for men's golf went to Wittenberg junior Jack Euchre, who led the Tigers to the team championship at the Members Invitational at the Golf Club at Indigo Run in Hilton Head, South Carolina. The Tigers posted three, 309 strokes at, to claim team championship title, while Euchre tied for medalist honors with a 75. Other action of note from last week was the Denison men's team winning the Myrtle Beach shootout with 313 strokes, and the Ohio Wesleyan women finishing second at the Adidas Intercollegiate in South Carolina with a two-day total of 766. NCAC golf action continues this weekend, highlighted by DePaul's men's team competing at the highly competitive Camp Lejeune Invitational in North Carolina. Let's now turn our attention to the tennis courts where numerous league squads competed in Hilton Head, South Carolina last week. The Denison men's squad completed its spring trip with a perfect 4-0 record, including three wins last week against Rhodes, Bridgewater, and Dickinson. DU sophomore Grant Veltman was named the NCAC Men's Tennis Player of the Week after posting a perfect 6-0 record. Veltman recorded one win at number one singles, two wins at number three singles, and three victories with teammate Juan Guerra at number one doubles. Allegheny kicked off its spring schedule in Hilton Head on St. Patrick's Day with a 7-2 triumph over Millersville, while Wabash also posted a pair of home wins on Saturday against Hanover and Cornerstone. In women's tennis, Oberlin earned a pair of 7-2 victories last week against OAC opponents John Carroll and Ohio Northern. Yo Woman senior Farrell LeClerc was named the Women's Tennis Player of the Week after combining for a perfect 4-0 record. In number one singles, she won against JCU 6061 and against ONU 6162. She then posted a pair of doubles wins with partner Grace Porter. Worcester won two of its three matches in South Carolina last week, defeating Edgewood 5-4 and Lake Forest 6-3. The Fighting Scots were led by senior Lauren Gillis, 
who was perfect in singles matches and went 2-1 in the number two doubles position. The Allegheny and Worcester tennis squads will continue competition in Hilton Head this week, while the DePaul men and women open their spring trip in California on March 24th with a neutral site match against Williams at Pomona Pitzer. And finally, we'll close out this week's show with a quick look at NCAC men's and women's lacrosse action from last week. In men's action, Denison head coach Mike Caravana picked up his 200th career win in the Big Red 17-4 victory over center on Sunday. Additionally, Wittenberg picked up a thrilling 9-7 comeback win over St. Vincent on March 16th. Tiger freshman Andrew Fuss earned NCAC men's lacrosse player of the week accolades after netting the game-winning goal in a late fourth quarter rally. The freshman attacker from New Albany, Ohio, finished the contest with four goals and one assist for five total points to go along with two ground balls. NCAC men's lacrosse play begins this weekend as there are four conference tilts on the schedule for March 24th. Highlighted by DePaul hosting Hiram in the first ever NCAC men's lacrosse game for both squads. In women's lacrosse, DePaul earned the first win in program history with a 26-6 victory over Wilmington, while Allegheny held off St. Vincent for a 12-11 victory on March 14th. The Gators got a strong effort from this week's NCAC Women's Lacrosse Player of the Week selection, Jacqueline Morrow, who tallied a career season and team high six goals in the non-conference victory. In addition, Worcester freshman Ellie Hudson Heck led the Fighting Scots to their first two wins of the season with a five goal effort in a 13 to eight win over Washington and Jefferson and a two goal, two assist performance in their 18 to five win over Teal on Saturday. Non-conference women's lacrosse action will continue across the league this week with one game scheduled for Tuesday, two on Wednesday, one on Thursday, two on Friday, five on Saturday, and two more on Sunday. And fans, for up-to-date news, stats, and standings from around the North Coast Athletic Conference, you can log on to our website at www.northcoast.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at NCAC, as well as like us on Facebook. And for the entire conference staff, I'm Brett Bilhart, and thanks for watching.